and welcome to the TWE YouTube channel. I'm Josh and today I'm going to be showing you all of my houseplants and telling you which are the best ones to have in your room. Starting off with this one. This flowery one is an orchid. It improves the air around you and release stress. Although they can be quite hard to grow. We have two, one downstairs that isn't doing as well. Just needs lots of care and not lots of watering. They actually don't like much water. And they can get diseases. So if you've got black spots on the petals and it's not part of their design, then you need to cut them off and that will save your plant. Another thing that really helps them is these little orchid foods. Um, this one says baby bio, so I think that's where it's from. And it just gives it lots of food for four weeks, although I think these have been in longer than four weeks, so it really helps your plant. And these are nice if you want something flowery in your room. Next we have the ponytail palm. I've actually got two of these, this big one here, and then this smaller one. These are very well known for being nice to look at and have are pet friendly, but all of the plants that I've got around me are pet friendly as I have two dogs and Obviously, don't want anything that's harmful to them, except these two cactuses. They are obviously not good for dogs because of their spikes, but we'll get on to those two more later on. Yes, yeah, so these can grow really big if you let them, but if they're kept in a small pot like this one, they shouldn't grow bigger than this. This is one of my favourite plants. It just looks like it's got crazy wild hair and it's really fun. Next up is this one, which also looks like hair, hence why it's in this pot. It's called a Fernwood Mikado and it's got like these tentacles, Bart Simpson style hair. And I got this one from my here, so if you want, not the pot, the plant. So if you want this plant, head down to my here and it's good for window sills as it needs lots of light. And the same with the cactuses, obviously. They are usually in the desert to need some more really warm. So window stills, bathrooms, conservatories if you've got one, just anywhere hot. They are spiky though, obviously. And my little cousin calls them prickles, which is really cute but true. This one has got these fun like balls attached to it, but does cause irritation if it pricks you, so be careful on which ones you choose. There's this one that looks like a cactus because it has all of these spikes on, um, but they actually don't prickle you, so that's really good. And this one it's in our bathroom, so if you want some greenery in there, I recommend a succulent like this. Or if spiky ones aren't really what you like, there's more of this one that looks a bit like a flower and it's got like pink bits outlining it. The same as all of the others, it just looks more flowery if that's what you like. So yeah, those are all really easy to take care of. You do need watering, but if you forget one week, that's fine, because they're really hardy and like somewhere warm, so are perfect for window still. Next we have this palm. It's actually not related to other palms. It was just named that way. And this helps with allergies and colds, so if you're got like a low immune system or you're prone to getting colds easily I recommend this one but it's also just really cool with its big 
leaves and to give you that jungle feel. And then we have the spider plant, another one for that jungle feel, feel as it grows up a little bit and then cascades down the side of the pot, so perfect for hanging or putting on top of a high shelf or wardrobe. And it also cleans the air by absorbing odours, so a nice one to put in your bedroom to make sure it smells nice. Then we have the snake plant. It's also known as the mother-in-law's trunk, and it turns carbon dioxide into oxygen for you overnight. And it's got these fun twisty leaves, and this one's a new one. That you can see here in the middle and that's why it's a lighter green than all of the others. Um, yeah I recommend this one if you like a fun quirky plant. And then lastly we've got this one lavender which is more of a like traditional garden plant. This one is actually from my garden hence why it's so big but you could maybe put it in the dining room or you could buy a smaller plant version then put it in your bedroom and it'll just smell nice because it's really got that floral smell and it's just a natural remedy for sleep and relaxation which is just what you want in your bedroom. Now if you can't have plants in your house because you've not got the time to take care of them or you just can't have them. There's lots of fake plants that you can get. I've got this pottery ceramic one. So it's obviously fake but it's still got that bit of greenery in and if you want like a jungle themed room like I've got then it's really cute and just nice to put on a shelf maybe where there's not enough light for an actual plant. For the more traditional fake plant you can get this and these are like made out of plastic uh, hence why mine is spinning around and some of them look obviously fake but I think this one looks somewhat realistic and they can just be bought from your average shop like this was from Primark so you can get a fake plant for the same effect as a real plant just minus the hardware. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you go out and buy a plant because they're just nice to have around and good for the environment and good for your health. They taking care of plants has been referred to as a form of meditation so it's really good self-care for you to take care of something else. Most of them are very low maintenance as well just make sure you water them and that they've got sunlight and then you'll be good to go and you can get a jungle themed room in no time or you can just add a bit of life to an empty shell. Tag us on Instagram if you get plants because we'd love to see them and stay tuned to our channel as we have a new video every Wednesday.